Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Gottlieb, and I'm here today to show you how to add a second suction line to your existing dental unit. In this case, my dental unit was a bit old. Every dental unit is set up to add a second line, but sometimes due to age and fatigue, you really don't want to go reach under there and break something and take it apart. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice in a second suction line into my existing dental unit. And I'm doing this so I can add an expectorator or an isolate. So please, take a moment to watch this short video and see how to add simply a second suction line to your existing unit. So in order to get ready for this project, I ordered three parts from American Dental Accessories. I ordered the Y part, which is part number 13-68, the straight part 13-66 in case I wanted to go back to my original setup, and of course you're going to need some extra tubing to add that at second line so you can reach to the patient or into the patient's mouth, and that's part number 11-63. The final decision you'll have to make is the type of valve that you want to install in your unit. I just happen to have this type of valve floating around as an extra or spare in my office, so I'm going to install that in. So the first step is just to take it and press it into the existing hose. Then what I will do is I will sort of measure the amount of hose that I need. I'll place it on my rack. I will use the existing hose that I have and, so, and try to duplicate that. So I'll take that hose, figure out where I want to splice it in, measure it out, then take my, my heavy scissor that I have, and cut it right there, right smack in the middle, so that I've got enough length to, to reach the patient. And now I've got that, and now I have to put together my, my system. It's, it's really simple. I cut the existing hose now, so now I've, I've got the connection area where I want to splice them together. I'll take the Y part that I have, and, and sometimes you have to heat it up. If you stick it in hot water, you can soften that plastic and, and, and stretch it in. So what I've done is I've connected it to my, my downdraft, I've softened up the, the one old hose that I have to my existing suction tip, and now I will take my, my new hose and place it into the, into the Y where it has a barb connection so it really can't fall off. You've got the suction system that's pulling the material through it, so it's unlikely that's going to separate and you don't really require any clamps to hold it in place. And the final step is just to check out the system and make sure everything works. So as you can see, in really under two minutes, I was able to add a second suction system to allow me to use my, my new expectorator project that I will use to eliminate the need for having a cuspidor and having a patient sit up and spit and rinse out. Oh, this is really incredible. Is that all there is to it? Let me try that again. All right. You know what I like about this thing? It clears everything out. Yeah, it's much more efficient. Yeah, I never did like that soda straw thing. It felt like I could like maybe suck too hard on it or something. And get yeah. It. yeah. This, this one is really neat. allows you to move all the water to the front of your mouth and get it out. Oh, I like this. What do you call it? The expectorator. The expectorator. Even I know that expectorate means to spit. Yes, it does. Oh, this is really clever. <laughs> you guys are great. Having, having a suction that a patient can use and have control over their spitting, and that works great, you can't beat it. So have you used anything else in your career? I have. I've had some other products, one similar to this, but this one works much better. Patients um, are able to spit better with it without having spit going all over them if it's used correctly. So Very it works good. great. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Well, the reason why our patients like the expectorator is because it makes it easier for them to get uh, debris out of their mouth and to be able to rinse thoroughly and be able to get all those pieces out of their mouth and feel more comfortable. So you're saying you can actually use this with pieces of like alginate and impression material? Yes. Oh. Or cement. Wow. So that's different than that little soda straw yes, thing. Yes, it is. This will not cleanse their mouth, or this is a rinse, a thorough rinse, and be able to expectorate. I like the expectorator better than any other suction because it is more efficient and allows the patient to remove more saliva from their mouth when we are working and it is cleaner than using the straw.